All right, everyone. So I last did my a video two weeks ago. It was one, my one-year video, and I had mentioned that I was going to start doing weekly videos on things that I haven't seen talked about. They may be talked about somewhere, and I just haven't found the guy who's talking about that stuff. Stuff like, um, and I couldn't think of the word last time on my video. I used the word system. But it's not a system, it's etiquette. A silent etiquette between men. And I'm going to work that that up and do a video on it. Um, the holidays have come. Last Tuesday when I was going to start, uh, we had to make a decision and put down uh, our oldest horse. Not any of the horses that are on the videos. Uh, she was much older. And... Uh, it was a hard decision <clears throat> so as you can see in my life if you have been following me I have been struck with some little molehills to go over and each day I tag along and I eventually get over them I am much better as far as being sick um, I still don't have the endurance and I, my body still fatigues out after a little bit, but I am much better, and I am getting better, and I'm, I'm so looking forward. You know, when I was sick, it's nine weeks yesterday, and I just didn't have the strength to watch YouTube, and I just didn't track a lot of you guys' videos for a while. I tried to on my phone, and <clears throat> some of them you couldn't watch on the phone, so I apologize to all of you. I'm trying to catch up now that I can sit in the chair and feel like really listening and concentrating on what you guys are saying, what's going on out there with you guys. And just to know that although I've been absent, I still have you guys all in my thoughts and prayers. I hope all of you had a Merry Christmas. Um, hope family and friends, you all gathered together and had a warm, a warming of a day. We did, certainly. So, I decided to do this quick video because next Tuesday is, of course, New Year's Day and I will be gone again. So, I'm figuring probably next Wednesday I will start doing. But I'm going to go to Tuesdays. On It's a Man's World, I was the Tuesday person. And I just like the Tuesday. I get my shot. You know, everything's happening for me on Tuesday. So, I think that I'm looking at, I'm looking forward to this. I'm a little excited to see what you guys think about. If you think about these things, what your views are, what your opinions are. Um, have you ever thought about it? And if you haven't, and you don't have an opinion, then process it and comment later on it. Uh, I brought up some of this stuff to my therapist in which she had never thought of because she's female of course but she started watching observing the public when she was around and the following uh, meeting that I had with her she said you know Ethan you're right I never noticed that before about guys and I said you know it was just natural to me but I didn't know why and now I understand it. So I'm going to talk all about that on the second, hopefully. I will be here next Wednesday giving you the etiquette, the silent etiquette of men. Things that are not said but are known. Uh, I'm also interviewing some bio men and to see if they ever think about it or if it's just something that they've always just known or it's something that's been brought to their attention uh, you know we'll see it's it's going to be exciting if you guys have any topics that you are thinking about I know that I think Arik or Samuel put in a suggestion about something and we'll look that up too and we'll research it and maybe I'll interview some guys and see what they think and or if they know anything about it I do a lot of observing even in my own family I've got two nephew-in-laws. I've got a brother-in-law who him and I have been buddies. But ever since I've been transitioning, he's like taken on a different 
perspective of our relationship. Uh, he he texts me. He calls me when I was sick. He called me just to see how I was doing. That would have never happened in the 25 years they've been together. So um, that I, feels really good. Feels really good about that. Of course, he's still going to say that I'm going to get an ass whooping. Uh, I've been sick, so he's been waiting. As a pretty, he's not much bigger than I am, but that dude is strong. So it probably will be an ass whooping on my part. But I told him I won't go down. It won't go. I won't go down easy, and he knows that. He's tried it before, years ago. But anyway, I'm rambling. As you can see, I'm feeling a lot better, so I'm talking more. Lord knows, I gave you guys a break for eight weeks. Um, but anyway, to all you viewers uh, that's been watching me again, I've said this in the past, but I'm going to say it again. Thank you for walking this journey with me. Uh, it's been a great year. Uh, learning uh, the obstacles, you face them, you get over them, you go through them. However you do it, you get past them. And uh, when you reach that mountaintop, just remember that mountaintop's not permanent. That there's always a valley because you always need to grow as a person. And if you don't want to grow or you don't want to learn from life's lessons, uh, being stalemate isn't fun. Uh, sometimes the irony in a lesson, as hard as it is, as tearful as it can be, uh, as cunning in the heart as it can be, uh, is the biggest lesson of all that you get through and become a better person out of it. So I look for these things, uh, this sickness. It's taken time for me to reflect on my own self, not that I have a bad life or anything, but there was just some things personally I needed to work out. Uh, my priorities with the horses, my priorities uh, for my body, the gym, etc. So um, I'm pretty much getting my mind geared of what I need to do and to let some things go that that I needed to let go. So anyway guys, New Year's is coming upon us. I hope you all are doing well. Um, I wish you all a happy new year and 2013 be a better year for you all the way around. May God bless you. Take it one day at a time. Make your journey as simple as possible and make good choices for yourself. All right, guys. Talk to you later. Bye.